Hi, people of YouTube. I'm, I'm here too, yeah, but I got, have no clue about this. Yeah, so. She has no idea how computers and calculators using mine, uh, or Minecraft Redstone work and operate. So, I'm going to be doing this tutorial mostly alone. And I'll be adding in little parts. Yes, yeah, like little small hierarchy comments yeah. that I will shun. <laughs> Okay, but this Minecraft is... wasn't designed to make a calculator. Yes, it, it was. It was designed to be relaxing and build stuff. Um, then why did they have creepers? Creepers? Uh, you can turn it on peaceful. Okay. Creepers are for I thought you were against people. peaceful. Now, I, uh, I, so I normally... I normally I am. Works. I normally am, but today I'm feeling peaceful. Okay, anyways, let's get on with the, um... Calculator tutorial. Kill the pig. So right here, this is the output. Uh, I put it in binary because that's the easiest way. And this is the bottom number input, and there's up there the top number input. It's like the command module. Yeah, this is pretty much the command center of my calculator. That's something like Star Wars. Yeah. Okay. You like Star Wars. Um. So you activate um one or both of the switches or none, and then you activate one or both of these switches, and the, the, pro the computer processor process the, processes the numbers and put, puts the output. Right and there. you cannot multiply or divide. Yes, yeah, so I will add it. that in later when I find more redstone. But for now, I am kind of lost with redstone. And you use this with the too many items uh, mod, yes. and, and now that you lost it due to updating on accident, then you can't really expand. Yeah, yeah it, it stinks. I, I should never have updated to 1.6.5. Never do! So anyways, now I'm going to do 2 plus 3, and it'll tell us the output if my computer will stop lagging. I've got older programs running. So 2 plus 1 and 2, which would be, you know, 3. 2 plus 3, Why are you using a sword to equals 5, aka 4 and 1. So, yeah. Four and one and binary, and um, you can also subtract. I mean, you already have to have a number though. So, um, all you have to do to subtract is you have the number that you start out the number you're subtracting from. So, you, so say we're gonna do five minus two. So we're gonna do we're gonna have that already put in, and we're gonna subtract. Turn off a two. And then it'll just put it as three. Ta da! Ta da! Okay. And, um, I guess that's it for this tutorial, or I guess I could show you how it works. So that will take a while. Yeah, it'll take a while, especially with this lag. Here, you can, you can, um, here, get up to the top of your house maybe, and then show them. Well, I'll, I'll just tower a second. Get some dirt and tower. Yeah, funny. Dude. Yeah, I have tons of dirt. Maybe you can just like clean it out. Okay, that, okay. so this is how it works. Um, this will be kind of hard. The ones, oh, it's getting dark. Well, first of all, the ones are added together using the bridge, right? Or not bridge, I mean bus right here. It's two buses. I mean, I shouldn't really call it a bus. These are like miniature buses. Anyways, it carries the top one down to the bottom one to be compared with this, um, this little thing. Uh, uh, this, this logic gate, it's a uh, one I just learned about recently, and it, it's really useful because when neither of the uh, inputs are lit up, it doesn't light up the output. But when either, when one of the inputs is lit up, it does light up. But if both are lit up, then it doesn't light up. So it's a way of adding, and because um, then you have an AND gate over here that if that one doesn't light up the output then uh, and there's two of them selected then those two will turn on the AND but with the AND if neither or uh, only one is selected it will not uh, output it anything into the carry. Hey make sure you have it um, on peaceful. Yeah so let me make sure I have it on peaceful. Oh I don't. Okay. Good thing I told you. Yeah it's a good thing you told me. He's a good little side assistant that doesn't know anything about calculators or computers. So, 
And then we go over here. Yeah, but I can, I can make smart alpha yeah. jokes and remind you about stuff. Okay. So um, <laughs> over there, right where my pointer is at, is another pretty much the same. It does the same thing as this right here, this logic gate, except it is, um, it, it doesn't take up as much space. Like, it's taller, but this one is way wider than it. I mean, way longer than it. And that one's just tall, so it doesn't matter. Like, I'm going to height space. And then, um, if we, hold on a second, we'll get over there. If we go on over to the section where the twos are added together, um, I wish I wouldn't have to go through here, I'm just giving away other parts of it. Um, so, right here is the part where the twos are added together. So, if there is one, two, then it is outputted through the same thing as over there, which means it'll give a two. But if another two is registered, then it will output a four. Um, another thing that's useful about having the four is that, um, the ones and twos, like, if you have something where, like, what I did is I connected the carry to another AND gate, and connected the two output to the other side of the AND gate, so that if, um, there are two twos, like, a two up there, and then a one and a two added together here, I mean a one and a one added together on the bottom, then it will also turn the four on to make to simplify it so that you can add more numbers together. So basically instead of having two ones and a two, then you just have them. Yeah. Because there's no way to do two ones in binary. So I had to do that where it would glitch out. Which is bad. Yes, it's bad. I don't like it for it to glitch out. It makes me feel bad. Okay. But anyways, that's Pretty much my tutorial on my calculator. So, um, yeah, and by the way, my switches are inverted just because um I like to be able to turn them on by pushing them up, not down. So that's just another helpful hint. If anybody wants to copy my design, so I'm not a weirdo. Well, for switching things up to turn them off, that's kind of. Well, I just. What, switched it around a little bit so it would be inverted, like I like it. Okay. Okay, anyway. So that's my calculator. And, um, if you have any questions about um, logic gates that I have shown here, you can PM me and I can give you, um, uh, in, I can give you a uh, link to uh, this YouTube video I found out about the logic gates I used here. Uh, some of the more complicated ones. So, anyways, that's about it for this tutorial. And goodbye, people. And also, um, well, you probably won't need it if you're watching this video, because unless you're a new person, then um, well, if you're a new person, you can watch our tutorial on. How yes, to I also have first many time. survival tutorials and other little like, things yes. to show you about surviving in Minecraft. And um, we also have some Rockets of Tycoon things if you're interested. Yes, I also <laughs> have other mixed sorted YouTube videos. At all. Okay, so goodbye, sign on. I'm gonna go to bed. I will see you next time. Okay.